Hey, what's going on guys? Dan with Barrel Blades and Barbells. Uh, first off, I want to apologize to everybody, all my uh, uh, subscribers and uh, anybody else out there. Um, I, I did not post anything in the month of May. Um, it's uh, the Sunday the 30th, I believe is the date, but uh, um, I, didn't, I didn't post anything. I was actually at Army training, um, had to go for the whole month, so I was, I was MIA for a minute. Uh, but I'm back, ready to get back to normal life, get back to producing some content for you guys to uh, view and whatnot. And I had several boxes, um, several items that I'm going to be doing videos that were sitting on my counter. My wife's like, you got a whole plethora of boxes. And I'm like, I'm so excited specifically on this one because I have been waiting and waiting and waiting on this. Um, I got this guy in the mail. This is the new Wraith 4K Max from Sightmark. Uh, it's their their new high def uh, night vision, uh, day night optic. I freaking am so excited about this thing. Um, I got hands on, I'm gonna do, I've already had this open to some degree, but uh, I did actually get hands on with uh, one of their units at one of the local gun shops that I go to. So I've got a little bit of experience with it, but uh, just wanted to go over a, like a box opening, kind of give you guys a little bit of an overview of what to expect when you get one. So uh, here we go. Okay, so this is about the best angle I can get right now with the current uh, setup that I have, but hopefully this works for you guys and you can see everything pretty well. Um, I'm gonna spin it around this way so you can get a, a little better view. Here's the, uh, the outside of the box. It is substantially smaller than I anticipated because the, uh, the regular Wraith that I have, the, the HD one, the box was like that thick it was like double the, the thickness of this so when it came i was like oh this is not as big as i was anticipating but uh um yeah so when you open the box up you got this nice little uh insole or a foam padding um as you can see it is not in the uh, sleeve here i did pull it out of the sleeve just to make it a little easier to get out and not to make uh, so much noise on the uh on the audio for you guys so this is actually what the unit looks like. Um, I'm gonna go over a couple things that I've noticed about it, and then I'm gonna uh, cut away. I'm gonna grab my um, my 350 Legend that has the other the the, the original uh, Wraith on it, and kind of give you guys a side by side so you can get an idea. That was something that I was curious about is the actual size and length of this thing versus the old one. So, um, but to continue on, here's the unit. Give you kind of a close up here, as you can see. Uh, this is an adjustment for uh, kind of reticle clarity. Um, this is the USB uh, charger. It is USB-C. Let me get that back in there so I don't knock it out. Uh, this is actually the port where the memory card goes. It does not have onboard memory that I'm aware of. Uh, you just put a memory card in it. This right here is actually the adjustment for the focus. So you can focus in and out just by turning. The old one did not have the uh, the raised notch to get a hold of. This is was something that I was kind of irritated with. I, I won't say irritated, but I, did, I thought, hey, this this needs an improvement, and they added it on this one. So um, you do get the rubber uh, lens cover. It is kind of nice. It's got the sight mark symbol on the end there. And then this is the adjustable in and out. It's got like an end cap on it that you can take on and off. Um, on this side over here, oh wait, before I miss, that's the power button here, and this is your control knob. On this side over here, uh, you do have your record um, start stop button, and it does have a mount. You can mount your, your light over here or another optic if you so wanted. But uh, this up here is the uh, control knob. It rotates, got nice uh, clean clicks for the uh, rotations and it also has a select button you can push in on it so uh, overall the unit is very clean looking um, I seen one of the original ones that came out and it, it did it, you could tell it was a, a older mold or maybe the original mold but this one is much much nicer much cleaner looking uh, unit so um, I was happy to see that it uh, final product came out much nicer um, for the the mount it is uh, it does have like Allen or a uh, hex head screw or uh, nuts to tighten it down. So, and it is spring loaded. I was kind of messing with the plate earlier. The plate spring loaded. So kind of nice, a little easier to get on and off. Of 
course it comes with a quick start guide and just like any other optic it's going to have a cleaner it does have a USB-C uh, charging cable there is not a uh, a power block or the, the the part that goes in like this any phone charger will work though um, this here is actually the eye cup um, if you've seen my other one you know it's this similar similar design a lot of people like using it when you're uh, night vision so you don't get uh, ambient light blinding you and, and throwing your vision off and it also comes with the IR light now I have not messed with the IR light at all so let's see uh, it's a little bit bigger than the one that came with the old Wraith and it does have a uh, standard pick mount there. It also does come with, uh, I believe these, yeah, CR123 batteries. So it comes with a set of CR123 batteries. It does have an adjustment here. It looks like to uh, focus or flood, so you can adjust it in and out. And it's got, it looks like three brightness levels and an off on the back here. Nice clean uh, click rotation for turning it on and off. So that is definitely a huge upgrade from the other one, uh, depending on the brightness. Um, I know that was one of the things a lot of people complained about with the other one. It just didn't have the power. The, the scope itself, the, the night vision was great, but the light that it came with just wasn't powerful enough. So a lot of people were changing over to those hog lights and those coyote, uh, coyote hunting lights. So I haven't done that. I was kind of waiting to see what this one how this one did um, judging by what I'm seeing here it's it's upgraded substantially so yeah so hopefully uh, hopefully you guys can got an idea of what you're looking at here I'm gonna go over and grab the uh, the other light and the other optic and kind of go over everything give you a side by side so you can see what the the differences are in the size okay so I figured it'd be easier to show you guys uh, everything from this point of view, be able to kind of point and move stuff around. So, um, this is, uh, this is my 350 legend that I built for deer hunting. And this is the, uh, the old Wraith HD. This is, let me move this stuff out of the way. This is the, the new Wraith 4k. So you can see, um, overall it is just, just a touch longer, but it is body wise is a little, little narrower, um, vertically, not much similar similar size i will say that it feels like uh the new one is a little bit lighter than the old one so that's one thing to consider especially on a, a smaller profile this is set up in a pistol format so weight sometimes is something you're wanting to keep down this is seems to be a little bit lighter i don't have exact specs on the weight on them but uh it does feel to be a little bit lighter um the mount is different on this one, not by much. The, the old one has uh, screw heads, but they you can't actually get a hold of them there. So they have finger tightened. These ones also can be finger tightened, obviously. But um, the controls on the new one, the old one was uh, an up, down, left, right with a center button. It had to hold, uh, you had to hold the power button to turn it on. The new one, has a separate power button, which actually acts as your backup button. So if you go into a menu and you want to back out, you can hit the power button, just click it, and it, it backs you up. Um, this one was up, down, left, right, according to the, uh, the arrows there. The new one is, it doesn't necessarily have an up, down, or a left, right. It just is a rotation. So when you're looking at the menu, if you want to scroll down or scroll up, you just rotate accordingly. And then to select a, a setting, you just click in on it. So it is a easier design, an easier uh, format to work with. I was kind of, at first I was a little like, hey, I don't know how this is going to work compared to the old one. Messed with it for 30 seconds and it was good to go. So um, I actually had a buddy of mine take this one and uh, just kind of look through it. And he's like, dude, that's so much clearer than this one. And I was like, yeah, it's... That, that 4K changes. This one, there was just a tiny bit of uh, uh, processing delay. So when you're looking and you're panning back and forth, you can actually notice there'd be like a, a momentary lag. This one that's non-existent, like I couldn't even see it. He even mentioned, he's like, dude, I don't even see a lag on this thing at all. And I was like, it's, it's legit. 
So definitely uh, upgraded the processing in that. Here is the old light. It has just one setting. It's just on or off. You click the back. Um, this is the, the mount here. The new one. And I'll try to get a, I'm going to set them up like this, see if we can get a side-by-side -side of the, the lenses. So as you can see, the, the lens is substantially bigger on the new one. The overall body length, it is longer. So I don't know, maybe just a touch heavier on this one, on the new one, not much. Um, you can see the mount kind of a standard mount nothing fancy one allen head screw to to tighten it down in the pick and this one the one big advantage though is it does have brightness settings so you can adjust the brightness right on the light that is super handy the other one i don't think this one yeah maybe it does have some adjustment some rotational adjustment this one definitely does but yeah that's a I'm, I'm interested to see how much brighter this light is, but I'll uh, hopefully in my next video, I will have this thing mounted up. So this is the 350 Legend. This is the 300 Blackout. The new light or the, the new optics going on the 300. This will be the, the old setup. So my plan is to have, uh, try to do a side-by-side -side comparison of what I'm seeing at night. Now, I don't think on this one, I will be able to get the footage off of it I might be able to do it. I'm going to have to do some some uh, converting and whatnot to get the, the format right to get it off. That one I'm not sure on, but uh, this one, the new one is supposed to have Bluetooth, but I haven't messed with it or read into it enough to know uh, to what degree it works Bluetooth. I will say that I know the new one for sure has a shot uh, timer, so you can go in and actually set it to where every time it senses a shot, it will record, it has like a continuous um, looping record and it will record like five to 10 seconds or something like that before the shot and then however long after the shot. So you can go in and actually adjust the settings on that. I did I did see it, but until you get a memory card in it, you can't change the, the settings. So um, something that I'm curious about to see how it works and kind of play around with. But like I said, this is just a box unboxing and kind of a comparison video so you guys can see uh, what you get in the box and what's uh, what's the new upgrades and what are the the new things that I'm able to to show you without really getting into it too much because I like I said I have I literally just got this thing today so um, I hope you liked the video if you got questions that you want to know or something you know you want to ask specifically about one of these products let me know in the comments I'll try if I have to I'll do another video if not uh, I'll throw it up in the comments for you guys but. Uh, um, as always, stay tuned, stay tactical, and I'll see you next time.